Welcome to this episode of Vietnam Diaries. In this episode, we will show you how skilled are Vietnamese artists. Vietnamese are highly skillful and they can carve beautiful statues with marble. There are lots of reasons why marble is wonderful for the statues or sculpture. Marble is almost right density to handle, curve and glossy once polished. Marble is also a good and best stone for human statues. There are four basic methods of creating sculpture, modeling, assemblage, casting and carving. Carving is a subtractive sculpting technique in which the sculptor chips away from the chosen material. Assembling is an additive sculpting technique that involves bringing materials together to form an art piece. We could see a lot of marble works which are beautiful and exotic. There is a huge market for these marble statues. These are exported to the world as well. There are different marble types based on the colors. White marble, cream marble, black, red, brown and pink marble. White marble inspires purity and neatness as well as providing light and spaciousness to any home or space, particularly when not combined with any other type of marble. The cream shade combines perfectly with a wide range of existing natural colors such as ivory and beige. Black is the color most commonly associated to luxury and elegance. No doubt Vietnamese artists are highly skilled. There is a huge industry for their products. However, there is a room for standardization and marketing and Vietnam is getting aggressive on this. The Fine Art of Silk Painting the traditional Vietnamese art of silk painting has become famous around the world for its simple poetic themes and vibrant colors. First, let us take a look how silk is made. They are eight days old. Their food is mulberry leaves. You know that leaf? Yeah, mulberry leaves. Then we did that leaf for three days. Then they sleep one day later. Continue. Three days eating and one day for sleeping. Yeah. Oh, you can see the little worms on the other side here. Yes, there are lines. On the day of 23rd or 24th, they will be mature and then how they begin to make this cocoon. We will put them on a bamboo spray like this for making this cocoon. They will spill the spray from the mouth, make around the body, run outside to inside. Four days to finish one. And then we will put this cocoon here into the hot water. Yellow and white, they are too natural. Into a hot water, about 17 or 18 degrees Celsius. Then we can get the food fresh. You see, from one cocoon like this, we can get a spread from 600 to 1000 meter in the one kilometer by one cocoon. And we can make many different kinds of silk, like raw silk, white silk, or taffeta silk. Yeah. Differently with other kinds of paintings, the silk canvas are usually not painted. 
The Vietnamese traditional silk painting style tends to use the silk canvas directly as the background of the painting. Whatever style they follow, silk painters must have an intimate knowledge of the material and fully exploit its shininess and its attractiveness. These paintings are made by the Vietnamese artist in Hue, central of Vietnam, 110 kilometers from north of Da Nang. Each painting is a great description of the beautiful nature and talented skills of the Vietnamese. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.